hello and welcome to my must review on Halloween edition. Um, this is probably the earliest I recorded a video on like 10. Actually, it's currently 8 a.m. at the moment. Um, I kind of, I woke up kind of early ish. I might have to I feel awake, but also, you know. Um, um, I did, there was that full link up the that I kind of recorded like early ish because, yeah, I stayed up a bit, but, um, this one, you know, is a little different. I don't make I don't know, okay, that early, but yeah, this one's a little earlier because I just I feel like it. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, and I figured, hey, why not? Um, anyway, yep, Halloween. We can technically finish on a cliffhanger with Funk Among Us, but we're getting two bonus um um holiday episodes um the um the, the Halloween one and the Christmas one we get December probably early this December. Um, uh, the, the holiday episode for the you network, know, Disney particularly, they air them in the first week of the month, so we can spam the work of my catch and come up with code. Yeah, but, um, the only, that's the only two of it'll be for, uh, Sophia and Elaine, which have, has the holiday episode, holiday episode already, so it's not a good point when you get out. For sure, but I haven't had one yet, they make a bigger deal out of it first. But yeah, this is the Halloween episode for How Much We Claw, which is a good 22 minute episode of Milo Halloween Crematorium, written by, I wrote them down, Jim Bernstein, Scott Peterson, Martin Olkin, Joshua Pruett, and Danny Ventry. I wrote them down because I'm doing my annual thing where I review, you know, uh, for one, inspired by Pagan Rule, I kind of did a thing where I reviewed all Diddy Cartoon Halloween episodes, and Crimson One, and King of Diddy Can Come, and I'm doing it for various network and other things. And this year, I can go on talking about the Halloween, the year of Halloween Disney, so, which we got to talk about one twice. After this, I have to type down my thoughts, which won't be in detail like I'm doing here. You know, and I'm going to be out on the Halloween level, more of this will be the Marvel Freak Law level. Um, but, yeah, again, it's kind of early, so I might not be, you know, as loud. It'll be, so I can't tell you got a fucking 40 minute vlog on a movie, you know. Meh, whew. Still resilient. Um. Okay, let's get into the episode. Okay, go waiting Halloween. And Milo had created basically a con house on a truck video for, for friends. And, um, but in Murphy Glock fashion, it goes off the rail again. They go beating through the city. Okay, then. Um, going clean for the kitty and Craig and Nick and Snoop. Meanwhile, the Cohen and Cavendish are hanging out, and basically we find out that apparently the future Halloween to kind of not only did no, they don't just don't celebrate. I told you first to computer in general, and they figured, hey, we can go out to Halloween. Go, why don't we take advantage of that? And then, but then Craig and Nick and Snoop from there. Um, so um, uh, the guy's going pretty good. Um, I will say. Okay, compared to things for how we have to go with free explicit one, I okay with no terrifying truck day to really a terror. Okay that much, but um I would say, you know, that's okay. You kinda compare I don't know, things for bad the two and one and then the twenty two and one which really the only I count how we have to have the Halloween intro and they have that one joke later on to so, go for you know, that just be creepy up and go like we did in Pharmacist. Which is still the best of the creepy fiends won't be how we have the horror episodes and stuff like that. Yeah. But um we can do pretty good too though. Um again again the main it's the first twenty two minute episode that isn't plot related. It's just kind of a fun episode and I do hope we get more non holiday ones like that in game two. We're in King of One where I wait until making Milo the forty minute episode to do story longer than one minute. Then they have the monk which is that King of Valley. Um, then the kind of Christmas one will just be, yeah. But first one, I think they put it, they had to like do kind of what they do and kind of a thing for one, we have to make the thing for pot a little longer, or do some pot a little longer to both equal out. You know, although Duke on camera just gets more sky gold plot, I'd say. Like, the Milo one is kind of what you expect from the show. Most of it is burping off stuff happening at a. You kind of like Blue and Quentin in terms of being on a vehicle against. The vehicle here are going for Halloween. Um, so you get a lot of fun and creepy stuff too. Um, you know, and I would say that because of how we handle it, it is more entertaining than some of the other episodes that kind of do that. But yeah, but you know, so there is that. Um,
Well, I'll go, go, yeah. Go for a vet, very vet, typical element, one to one count. It kind of like will rain in percent of Freebok in that tent, but 22 minutes. But because of 22 minutes, they can flush out both pop more and make the mono one off of pretty cat like. A lot of it is bio and gack together rather than look and care of. They get some good jokes, they get some good moments. I like how scared is um, uh, Dr. Gone, and then, then she was going to work all the time. <laughs> you know, um, it took up a costume, but um, I. That, that, and speaking of costume, um, the obligatory thing for reference, one of the kids getting a flat book, um, and they're doing a, a, a song I'll get to in a second, um, we need to call Cavendish Anthony for which vibes won't blink the reference we had, technically speaking, but it'll blink in, it can fall a gag, so I don't, we're not bothered by it, um, so yeah, it's, um, but yeah. Speaking of which, the Kong, which is Conan Cambridge speaking thing about, yeah, which they learn about Halloween, and then they have a Kong about it. It's a really fun Kong, a fun, quirky thing Kong, you know, I think, I think it kind of, I think for a quirky thing Kong, they had like, the quirky thing Kong, particularly, they had the one with Scare Kong, they had no Momo, and then of course you had like Weird Cowboy, I think one of the better though, I think it's a pretty fun Kong, especially. Dakota King, the Cambridge did that though, hopefully, Come on, make up for floppy monogram and find out how to go and get lit camera just thing. But Dakota gets along well at least. Um I could probably camera just come close to dying in the one. Apparently before I know Dakota there were other code where she almost needs to die with Gaylack like, again that that being they pretty much like with foreshadowing for that uh, code to go. That's kinda of cool that they actually did make it fit in the community instead of being kinda of, I don't know where thing that he become Kenny. You know, but, um, but, um, yeah, but, yeah, going back to the My Apply, I think it's kind of pretty simple, and yeah, Draco does appear for a gag, um, the parent of Kara did not like your woodshot class, <laughs> again, that's fun, um, um, I kind of wish they got to, I, I'm okay, in terms of Apply, I do kind of wish they won a deck of the one, so I can involve any other characters, and something like that, because the one kind of do get ahead of the thing, because, you know, come out of that, it's simple. The other characters, the other characters do appear, but they get cameo over in line, like Chad would do, for example. But, you know, it's like, I'm okay with that, but for, you know, for how, I don't know, maybe we could go involved more of the other characters, I don't know. But it doesn't involve a quick hack, at least, you know. Yeah, the first thing from, I think how we have to did kind of that was simple, kind of, kind of shame plot with the high house thing, but they still took advantage of it. Yeah, you know, well, yeah, you know, but yeah, you know, they combine Halloween with the Murphy Glass element decently well, and having 22 minutes allows them to do flush more. Um, Gak, I don't want to say arc, but he apparently he does not get scared anymore because when he turned a certain age, he just won't scare that stuff, and that kind of my goal is to try and get, scare him. But not in a mean way, but more in a we want you to have fun with us kind of game way we do way. Um, <laughs> uh, they do reference this phobia he they mentioned in the one episode. Yeah. Perrin get scared, I guess he's thinking out Milo too much, and he just can get down. Both court King Perrin's situation being scared is different, different, I suppose. Jim is scared. Uh, I got scared, uh, took a look at Perrin, but not much of the interaction between all of them, but I don't got to get a lot of good interaction, so the ship will be happy. But it's gonna be a lot of fun stuff, there's a lot of fun stuff there. Um, cameras. <laughs> um, we do find out what that last Halloween thing is about. <laughs> And yeah, and it involved something I brought up earlier up code in it. Yeah, it got to kick, like, it kind of a little tense in the sense. And it's very awkward funny. And the ultimate payoff to all that is pretty funny. Um, it, it got to kind of interesting. Um, the yeah, other kind of can it, it's not to get a complex plot, it's just they get more of a story than Milo does, you know. But, um, yeah, well, go, so, um. But yeah, overall, we think a pretty fun episode. Yeah, we take advantage of Halloween element, especially, yeah, they, ha they have it primarily take place on the outside trick or treating, freaking fitting for that spirit to make a lot of and then take advantage of the outside kind of territory, and, and um, neither did a really drifting way that more Halloween party type of code, but they're going to take more advantage of that, go, got that fun, spooky vibe. Um, on the Halloween level, it doesn't work, although, it broke out that hurdle of involved going to Cavendish, who, 
I'll be doing another show when you if they do kind of tell you kind of and the love to where you can do kind of but you probably only know thing you really know from the come of that they are from the, the future right here for again they don't mention the pistachio thing. Um Brickman Commander do get a cameo but then a lot of the pistachio do that thing. Um yeah, but that's where we up for 19, so we take like to both the scope thing, until after, I don't like Dakota, but before Funk Muck, in between that. Um, so. But, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna go find that because I, I won't call it, like, really good or anything like that, because I don't have the hurdle of the main story being a little typical for the show, and, but it, there's nothing really to object to. Then there are definitely quite a few funny jokes that happen with the character. And, um, then I do like the way they introduced the upper code. Yeah, I think that's fun too. So, yeah, I think that's kind of what I got for this one. Um, yeah, I'm kind of hoping for more in terms of story, but for what we kind of get in the upper code is. For that. Yeah, perfectly fun and enjoyable. So, yeah, better count my own Halloween crematorium. Um, very name drop the episode, by the way, the same way we did a terrifying fact date trilogy of terror. <laughs> um, that there come on me, I gotta watch the El Gunkling I mentioned I have to watch. And also Farmer Gun is going to too good not to watch. Me and though I usually just watch that one, but that guy I kinda of wish they could that one Halloween just go like it included. But yeah, but oh well. <laughs> so yeah, but that my episode in December, so I'll see you in two months for that. Uh, but later on today, you know, PV log, uh, I'll, we'll be honest, I'm a little gaunted after the movie, but, well, I'll also, yeah, obviously do it, you know, well, I'll usually do, just don't spend a lot of energy there, uh, depending, yeah, it's not even, I'm not even, I'm not even there yet, so, I'll probably uh, go back to the weekend, but, you know, and, uh, the rest, maybe, but, yeah, there you go, kind of, guys, I'll be on that mile again for another two weeks. It's just kind of good that this bonus Halloween is going to end up being a week after Fungus Among Us. So, I shall see you for Marponi and Milo. Goodbye.